Hello Romas, this is Aromi here and I am honestly super excited about this playthrough. It's gonna be real short because it's only a demo, but the beautiful Steam Bear Studios has dropped yet another game called Gilded Shadows. If you do follow Esh on her Tumblr and Twitter, you would already know she was already working on this. But for those that don't know, bam, here you go. <laughs> and I know some of you have actually messaged me and commented saying, Hey, she dropped something. Just so you know, I already knew. I just didn't have time to start playing it. But we're here and I'm very excited. Most important thing is you can now officially customize your mc which is amazing and i hope more games will do that in the future we're gonna try to make her look somewhat like me somewhat my medium light or my light uh, i i'm actually in between light and medium light <laughs> um i'll just go with light i have black hair so okay let's go Bold or cautious. At, a, at its best, boldness is confidence. It is the ability to stand up for oneself to be of interest and to stray from the beaten path with courage. At its worst, boldness is recklessness and arrogance. It is overconfidence and making decisions without a sense of caution or foresight. At its, uh, uh so is it asking me to be bold or cautious? Cautiousness is wisdom, shrewdness, and the strength to judge the repercussions of any actions or decisions before they're made. This is so interesting. At its worst, cautiousness is a tendency to over-worry or be anxious and uncertain of one's own decisions. It is indecisiveness due to fear or weakness. Um, to be honest... I'm kind of both in certain situations, but I guess since I over worry and overthink about a lot of things, I'm gonna choose to be cautious and uncertain. This is cute! It's like a little, the little quiz that you take and then it decides to, to put you in what house you're gonna be in, um, Red Embrace Hollywood. So this is interesting. Uh, persistent or adaptable. At its best, persistence is sticking to your own beliefs and opinions and staying resolute in your decision in spite of obstacle, opposition, or persuasion to other sides. At its worst, persistence is stubbornness and willfully refusing to see you might be wrong. Or it is, <laughs> or it is refusal to acknowledge other points of view even if they're valid. Or adaptability is being able to be ch is being able to change one's personal stance when the situation calls for it to change for the better and see what other points of views than your own. At its worst, adaptability is compliance, a tendency to be too easily swayed off the path you cho you've chosen, or compliance with rules or orders without questioning their valid validity val validity. Val oh shit! I can't pronounce that word again something that i can be on both sides except this one i don't have like a strong i'm more than this though because i can understand both of them i'm very stubborn but i'm not gonna be like so compliant to someone to, to change my way of path so i guess i'm gonna choose more persistence emotional rational i'm not even gonna read this because i'm very emotional well, you know, I'll just read it anyway for you guys. <laughs> Emotional is empathetic and being unafraid to show vulnerability. It is openness, compassion, humanity towards others, and being unafraid to do what feels right. At its worst, emotional is impulsive, impulsivity. It is a tendency to lash out, lack self-control, act on feelings over reason, and make impulsive decisions without thinking of the consequences. Or rationali rationality is an... Uh, analytical and inquisitive it is making decisions based on one re on sorry on reason not one reason on reason and evidence without letting emotions cloud one's judgment at its worst rationality is over reliance on logic without making room for spontane spontaneity I'm, it's a word like spontaneous and it lacks compassion and sympathy for others and put reasons above relationships see rash rational and analytical tyler emotional impulsive me Oh, my name. Oops, not Miviko. What the heck? Oh, I keep typing that. Michiko. Melody. Ooh, it's such a beautiful background art already. 
reality and twist itself. I do not know how long this demo is, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cry when it ends. And I felt the ground beneath my feet again. Nausea hit me hard as soon as everything stopped spinning. I doubled over. I don't think I even mentioned it, but the soundtrack earlier from like the the main screen and answering those questions once i heard the beginning of that note of this game i smiled so hard Naja hit me up. okay i already read that my stomach clenching painfully in protest of whatever had just happened i vomited gagging against bile ill and my throat as my stomach violently empties itself i try to get a hold of myself desperately aware of the combined presence of the two men watching me vomit on the ground a pity i missed them what who am i trying to shoot the thought, the thought flitted through my head as my legs finally gave up even attempting to stand. The floor tilted toward the ceiling and I hit the ground, gripping my stomach with one hand while I caught myself on the other. I was still choking on the taste of acid and whatever was left in my stomach. That's bleh. definitely not having the best of days. One of the two men finally crouched next to me and his hand passed over my back, a surprisingly gentle gesture from a damn kidnapper. It's alright, try to take deep breaths. Tall kidnapper. Okay. Instinct told me to scramble away, but my body wasn't exactly in scrambling condition. I stayed in place, squinting in the ground and wishing he'd go away. I'm assuming those answer choices we picked from that little short quiz is going to affect the storyline. Because it's we just formed our character's personality. The first jump can be a little disorienting. It'll pass soon. Disorienting was quite the understatement. I just ignored him and focused on feeling less like my insides are turning themselves upside down so I could figure out what to do next. I just need to get a hold of myself. How had all this happened? And more importantly, what did these two men want with me? Chapter 1. In... Passant? It's not English, I don't think. <laughs> Unless it is. One day earlier. So, how did it go? Did you do okay? What? my interview or something i don't know yet mom i got out of the ca uh, cafe <laughs> out of the exam 20 minutes ago oh okay you had to have some idea of how you did was it hard did you feel like you were answering well i kept one eye on the street signal as i listened to mom's eager questions through the net connection Ooh, okay smiling slightly at the excitement in her voice she was always like this after an exam Assuming, okay, clicking links to, to other glossary articles may lead to mild spoiler content. Oh, so I should be very careful. Oh, like clicking these? Alright, well, I'll avoid clicking these unless I, I really don't know what it's talking about. Then I'll look into it. Altair's version of modern internet. A vast network of information and communication that is accessed via the nanosystem network. It can be accessed mentally with all information and images filtered directly into the brain. Or through any number of physical interf interfaces or devices. That seems cool. I do think I did well. I feel like the last round was worse and I studied much harder this time. You always study hard, Michiko. And it, and it always pays off. I'm so proud of you. I wish my parents would tell me they're proud of me. <laughs> I laughed quietly. Mom, I should remind you that we don't know how well I did. I'm not sure you should be proud just yet. You know I'm proud of you no matter what happens. She paused and I waited for the inevitable finisher to that sentence. But you definitely think you passed, right? The light switched and I started across the street along with the rest of the crowd, smirking how predictable she was. I passed into a crowded pedestrian walkway and paused right past the dividers. Passing is never really the issue, you know? I keep telling you I have to score in the top 10% this time, unless Dad is ready to do some major string pulling on my behalf. And we both know that even if he tries, there's no guarantee anything will come of it. I'm guessing my dad's like a high tier um, worker. <laughs> I'm certain you'll hear good news. You've worked too hard to get bad news at this point. Her faith in me was sweet, but everyone else worked hard too. None of them have worked as hard as you have. I doubt that's true, but either way, I hope I hear good news as well. When will the results be in? They said 7 to 10 days, but we know the results are usually out a bit faster. Is that business days or is it just literal flat out days? <laughs> we're planning your cel cel celebratory dinner soon, so you'd better clear your schedule this weekend. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I just got kidnapped during the weekend. <laughs> Please don't plan anything too crazy. This time, even if we do get good news. She just laughed and disconnected the conversation. And with that, I knew another big party was in store. I bit back a yawn and dug my knuckles into my eyes, trying to ignore the fatigue that was creeping in. The last few weeks... <laughs> 
Excuse me. <laughs> I've been truly exhausting. Was I talking to my mom through my brain? For all that, I kept trying to caution mom, or mum, not to get her hopes up. I really was pretty sure I'd score well, but of course, there were a lot of smart people taking the, this exam. And there weren't nearly as many positions open in the next study level for the interplanetary ar archaeology. Or any other subject, for that matter. There were fewer and fewer openings in the prime tiers. The higher you went in school, and by the third level of secondary, competition was fierce, putting it lightly. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious what prime tiers are, so holy shit, that's a lot to read. And higher levels of education, students are sorted into tiers based on their exam scores. Those in the prime tier receive an expansion to their nanosystems, which increases their mental processing ca What? Capabilities? So, if you suck, you suck. Your brain also sucks. They are also sorted into smile classes with live teachers. Oh shit, Prime Tier is usually compri com comprised of the top 10 to 15%. Students who do not enter the Prime Tier but are still in the top 30 to 50% of their level are sorted into sub-tiers that are taught primarily by AI teachers. They do not receive nano enhancements. Well shit, dude! Everyone who scores too low to progress is given the appropriate merits for the level of education and is compelled to graduate and enter the weak wor weak. <laughs> the weak force. The workforce. Well shit, if you suck, you're stuck in retail basically that's a sad life than not everybody wants i lifted my hair off my neck and started walking holding in another yawn the sleepiness felt like it hit all at once i wondered if another nanosystem expansion meant i wouldn't get tired as easily really would, am i even human would be nice if i could eat could suddenly get by on less sleep or something but am i not even human am i not human I didn't want to spoil it myself by reading the game summary because I wanted everything to be completely blind, but at this point I should have probably read a little bit on it. I doubted it, though everyone knew expansions only helped with focus and memory capacity. Well, in general, sy synaptic response and all of that. I didn't think sleeping less was one of the benefits, but it should be. Then again, sleeping was pretty nice and I'd have to give up on it. That being the case, I didn't know whether sleeping less as a fringe benefit would have meant more or less competition for those prime tier slots. Probably wouldn't make much difference one way or the other. I casually sidestepped a well-dressed man so engrossed in conversation. I was pretty sure he didn't even notice me. I cast a look behind me, wondering where he worked. Students that didn't make the top 50% would be thrust into the same workforce he was a part of. But like him, they'd ended up in, good, in jobs good enough to wear pretty suits and leave work early. As for everyone else, well, most would end up in one of the two sub-tiers. We'd, we'd keep studying, but everyone knew sub-tiers weren't nearly as good as prime tiers. You didn't even get live instructors. Everything went through the net with the uni. AI teachers. Not that the AI wasn't sophisticated, but still. And there was also the lack of nanosystem expansion in the sub-tiers. Wasn't like I couldn't keep learning up without it, but competing for the fourth level of prime tiers would be even harder since I'd be up against everyone who did get an expansion. I shook my head, pushing the negative thoughts away. It was too late to worry about all that now. With the exam over, now I just had to wait to hear and hope for the best. And if I didn't make prime, then I would fight tooth and nail for as long as I, as long as possible to get what it, wherever I needed to get to make it into an off-world research team. Oh, so I want to be off-world? So there. Okay, no more worrying. This is so cool. I was going to just go home, relax, and take a long, long bath. After three weeks of non-stop studying, I deserve the longest and hottest of baths. Also a quiet dinner, a good book, and definitely no schoolwork. So, care. Alright. Like this so far. <laughs> I really love this design. It's so, like, sleek, modern, cute. Very, also florally. I love flowers, so... When I stepped through the door to my apartment, a notification popped up before I even set my things down. I paused, focusing on a message obscuring my vision. Oh, so it's like right in front of me, like, Hey, you have uh, you have an email. Look at me, right now. You can't even flick it away. Mail? Not just an email, either. Apparently, I had an actual letter rather than a message through the net. Oh, I love letters that I never get. <laughs> They're just all pills. How unusual. Dismissing the alert, I pushed a little button up by the front door, curiously, and waited for the mail slot to slide out to reveal its contents. A small cream-colored envelope was nestled inside. I turned it over in my hands curiously. It was blank. No cinder. I ran my fingertips over it, smelling slightly. Paper products weren't terribly uncommon, but they were less efficient. 
I haven't gotten a real letter in ages. I guess they are. <laughs> I pulled the front flap open, wondering who had sent me something like this. Happy 21st birthday. It was a large script with a spider web of gold filigree behind it. Is that, did I say that word? <laughs> the worksmanship was quite admirable. Delicate squirrels traced a careful pattern over the card. Really, it was beautiful. Too bad my birthday had been three months ago. I flipped the card open and with an uncomfortable flutter in my stomach, instantly recognized the familiar handwriting. And we're not gonna know. Ooh, relationship. We're not gonna know who sent us that. I think if I hit relationship, that might be spoilers of the upcoming guys that are all freaking handsome as per usual. Anyway, this is where we're going to end for today's episode. I was going to ask who you guys would go for, but technically in this episode, you don't know any of them. I personally do not know any of them. But for those that already played the game and already looked this game up, you know who they are. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.